Thank you. That's appreciated. Right. Um, I'd like uh, John Hartnell, Chairman of the Met, to come forward. This is the time of the night where the Chairman of the Met presents the uh, trophies recognising the breeder of last year's Dominion and Cup. The first up is the winner of the Dominion Trot last year, Sunday Sun, bred by our chair, bred and raced by our chairman, bred by Colin, raced by Colin and Nancy. Um, this week, um, those of you who get the Breeders' News, Thursday night, Thursday night's Breeders' News will feature Colin and the Sunday Sun story leading into the Dominion the following day. Then, then something we started, we don't, um, Colin and I can't work it out, but it was probably 12 years ago, was we decided that on Cup Day, trainer, owner, driver, everybody gets a trophy. And so we have this replica made for the breeder of last year's New Zealand Cup. And that's Reg and Barbara Caldo. Reg, if you come forward, it's... It's not like an Olympic medal. You don't get it straight away. It's a stayers test. You only get it a year later. Well done, Reg. I'll just talk to Reg, just a moment. You're, you're very proud of this mare who, who bred self-assured. Yes. She's got 77, 77 winners or something like that have come yeah, from her. 86, right. I knew I'd get it wrong. And she is on our list for the Excellence Award and she won't be far away with that record. But you're very proud of her achievements. Yes, absolutely. Um, we can just take a couple of minutes. We go back to pre-2000 when Peter Ryder um, told me I had to buy this mare. She had just um, broken down in, in training, hadn't got to the races, but he said, you know, she's worth quite a lot of money because she's got a, a brother called uh, Stars and Stripes and another one called Light and Sound. And so um, I snapped that up and away we went. But she, that mare star at night, um, she went for 11 years and had one pole. And so we kept going and eventually, yeah, we, we um, got Star of Venus. And poor old Star of Venus, um, she had a lot of ability, but she used to hold her breath. And so um, Jimmy Curtin couldn't get the best out of her. So she went to the broodmare's paddock and the day she time trialed, she went 153 at Ashburton, which was our fastest ever. Um, with uh, Ricky driving and Jimmy on the pacemaker. Um, the only the other thing that I should mention that is worth uh, uh, talking about in a breeder's function is that Star of Venus and having her first foal, um, the foal kicked her on the way out and she um, was a was she was going to die. Um, and the night after the foal was born, Canterbury Equine, Hamish Rankin and the team saved her life. They took eight feet of bowel out of her. The following day, she didn't recover. By lunchtime, she looked as though she still was going to go. And she, um, they had to operate again that night. They took another foot out, which is what they had just finally missed the night before. Um, unbelievable that she lived through those two operations. And Canterbury Equines and a couple of the girls worked there. They fed the foal for three months. And um, it was a wonderful um, uh, saviour and, and, of course, made Star of Venus very, very special to us. Um, and I would just therefore go on to say that she could not have any more foals. Um, she was only able to get in foal and take an embryo transfer. Lee Morris up in um, Te Aumutu uh, did a wonderful job over the years in conjunction with Graham Henley at Alabar where she lived and um, Wayne McNamara and Nigel Fahey. They were very, very good with the mayor. And so um, she's come through. She has produced something like eight foals. Um, yeah, we've now won 86 races. 
um, so far, still to go, and two horses with Group 1. So it's been a wonderful journey so far, and I'm uh, very proud to be here. Might I just say in closing, I do think that um, this is a wonderful venue for us to be here tonight to celebrate, sitting here tonight, listening, and to the names of um, very famous people uh, in our breeders' function um, across New Zealand um, with the Breckens, with Woodlands, with Alabar, um, with so many uh, people involved. Might I also raise the issue of five years ago, nothing is as it is today. You look back on the breeders five years ago, look on racing and um, trotting five years ago. It is all different. It has all changed. And it is thanks to you people in management, John, Colin, Brad's done a wonderful job. I look back as well at the last Breeders magazine that came out three months ago. And when you look at the work that went into that production, alongside the work that goes into the stallion um, uh, register, that comes out virtually at the same time. I believe that whilst I stand here to accept this cup tonight, the real thanks must go to our leaders here tonight. And I would ask you to say thank you to those people. Rich, Rich, really well done.